Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today I have a true surprise on my hands. This is um, a package, obviously, as you can see, it's, it's pretty big. Look at that, it hardly fits on the camera. Um, this was sent to me by an old school magic player from Norway. His name is Dan. And here you can actually see a deck of Dan. So uh, he plays some magic. I actually like this deck. I like this type of deck, you know, it's merfolk, it's go for it. I like the inclusion of River Merfolk, cool card. Uh, but anyway, if we get back to the package, I get this email and I didn't know Dan and Dan is asking, you know, I, I, I love your channel. Um, I have something that I want to open up, but I don't really have a YouTube channel or following. Can I send something to you? Can you open it up? And I'm like, yeah, you know, of course. But I first kind of tried to check out, like, who is this Dan? Because you got to imagine that, um, you know, with, with Timmy Talks, I, I get a lot of messages and, and most of them are legit, but some are not. So I had to check. So sorry for doing that, Dan. And it turns out he, he is an old school player. He knows what he's talking about. So I was like, okay, here's my address. And the box literally just came in. So I'm going to open it up. I have no clue about what's in here. So we're just gonna open up the pack. So I really appreciate it, Dan, that you're sending this over. And, um, you know, it's the holiday season, so I love opening up packs. It's the holiday season. Let's see, what is a good way? Okay, you know what, we're gonna go here. Is that a good way or should we go here maybe? It's a whole, it's a pretty big box, I'm a little bit intimidated by the size of the box. Okay, okay, come on, baby. Okay, 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 so there's also tape here, which I guess is a good thing. It's good that you're packing it this well, Dan. That's a good thing. And I always love receiving uh, cards, of course. Well, I don't know what's in here, but magic-related stuff, I guess. So let's open it up. We got some newspapers. We got the letter we got for opening wow there's more under here you know what let's start with the letter man this is exciting stuff dan this is pretty cool um let's have a look whoa there we go um greetings timmy thank you for letting me send this to you of course i tried out making videos on youtube but not many viewers so I want you to open the product, include it so more people can see. Thank you for the great old school content. Hope you and the viewers will enjoy this. Best regard from Denmark, Dan of the team Herloon Minotaurs. My pet piece, uh, what's this? Ah, man, sorry, our German FBB cards. I guess you're, oh yeah, yeah, that's your thing, right? I get that. I also love foreign black border cards. Uh, currently getting my merfolk Deck styled out. Ooh, actually, we showed that picture right of your Merfolk deck. Our mascot. Yeah, I have to say, Herlo Minotaur, he is such a good poster boy for the for the game. You know, Herlo Minotaur is also on the revised boxes. Beautiful, man. Love it, love it, love it. And I actually don't own a German copy. So that's pretty sweet. And, of course, a Tim. It's Sauberer. I do have some Sauberers, but I always love more. Sauberers. And Sauberer is the German word for sorcerer, by the way. So let's put them here. Thank you so much. I, I keep all these letters, by the way. You know what? I think I'm going to make an episode. Maybe uh, I should make like a year review episode where I show you all the letters. Um, And here it says, for the opening. Good luck. Okay. Good luck. So I guess I'm going to start with this. And, oh, wow, 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 wow. We got Chronicles and two packs of Fallen Empire. Now, what I'm going to do, <laughs> I'm going to make special episodes where I'm going to open this. I'm going to open one pack of Fallen Empires for now, and I'm going to keep these two for a special episode later on. It's going to come. Don't worry. It's not going to take a year or something, probably next week, but I just really want to take my time and make a proper video um, yeah, this is fantastic. You don't open these packs every day, you know? That is fantastic. So I'm just gonna put them here on the side. Um, this one I'm gonna open in a minute. I'm just first gonna explore what else is here in the box. 
Ooh, what is this? What? Let's first wait. Please open. Only the outer seal has been removed. Slightly damp, sadly. Enjoy the nostalgia. Damn. Damn. Um, before I open this, this is insane that you're sending me all this stuff. I mean, that's just amazing. Okay. Open it up. I think I know. Oh, this is the puzzle box. Dude. Man, this is so cool. Oh, 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 I love this. Are you sure you want to get this? The puzzle box, ladies and gentlemen, is something really special. When I was uh, a kid and it was Sinterklaas. Sinterklaas is something we celebrate in the Netherlands. The first magic product that I got from my parents, because my brother got me into playing, I was like 11, was this puzzle box. And then with the revised cards in them, uh, it was such a big deal back then because I mean I got 350 three guilders 50 that's about two dollars a week so I couldn't buy any cards so just getting something like this was like huge and I wow I just love the fact that you're, you're giving this to me that's insane look at that this this brings back so many memories you even have this you know, Dan, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to contact you, man. I'm gonna, if, if you want this back, I so understand. I'll send it back to you, man. No problem at all. This is so cool. A fantasy card game. Oh, yeah, I remember going for this book. Oh, man. And this, you got to love this. You can just get cards by the mail and get stuff by the mail. Business reply mail. What could you do with this, actually? We'd love to hear your opinion. Yeah, these were the opinion cards. Yeah, you can also order whole sets with cards like this. They were in, in some of the duelists, I remember. Wow, 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 look at this. Amy Weber art here. Amazing. Wow. The cool thing is like Amy Weber is pretty active on eBay and I, I also got some of her stuff like an Argivian Archaeologist artist proof, which is insane. Learn the lingo. Let's say learn the lingo. COP, shorthand for circle of protection. DC, shorthand for the duelist convocation. The official tournament organization for Magic the Gathering and other deck master games. Deck tuning, the process of refining your magic deck. This, this booklet alone is another episode, Dan. This whole box is another episode. Oh man, this is unreal. I had another box because I had a... Um, a, 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 um, a pouch this pouch seems to be from leather let me kind of like fake fake leather but leather um i have the one that's from just from fabric L let me get it i'll be right back oh damn this is damn this is amazing man this is this actually is and i i mean having this channel has brought me so much luck because this was also sent to me by a viewer this this was the pouch that i got in my puzzle box. So I guess I had a different version. What I love is because I didn't have the beads anymore because I lost like all that stuff. Is that I now have these beads back. These are so cool. Like what we used to use, this is one life and this equals five life. And so I, I use this to track my life and now I can do that again. Man, I'm a little bit shaking here to be honest, Dan. This just brings back, you know, flashbacks from the past and stuff. It's It's amazing. Um, again, what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep this here sealed right now because I'm a bit overwhelmed by all this. I'm going to keep this sealed in a box. Um, I'm going to make a special episode out of this. I know. <laughs> I keep saying that. You guys probably want me to open up stuff as well. I'm going to do that also. But I just really want to take my time to enjoy this. And I just have to say, Dan, this is absolutely amazing that you're sending me this. I am absolutely overwhelmed. To be honest, I was expecting, you know, just some just some foreign black bordered cards and maybe, you know, the nice letter that you wrote and that was kind of it. And you're sending me this, wow, amazing. Um, Dan, let me know if you're gonna start a YouTube channel. I will definitely help you, you know, plug it. Um, amazing, I'm, I'm a little bit overwhelmed at the moment. Sorry guys, um, I'm gonna set this set this aside this is going to be an episode i love this um and i'm now going to open up one booster pack of fallen empires and like i said i'm going to open up the other two later um let's do this one let's let's go for it why not let's go for it 
What was the right side again? Oh yeah. I kind of peek because I didn't want to show you the rares straight away. Well, actually the uncommons, right? Because there were no rares here, but you had uncommons one, two, and three. And the uncommons three kind of resembled uh, the rares. There are actually quite uh, some good cards to pull from Fallen Empires these days. And here we have a combat medic, which is a O2 creature for one white and two, a summon soldier. One white and one, prevent one damage to any player or creature. Let's put that there. And then we have, ooh, an Acacian Javelin here. I'm actually gonna use this because I'm playing a Singleton match uh, this weekend. So I'm gonna use this card. So this is one of the better cards, one white to cast for a one one. And when Acacian Javelin here is brought into play, put a Javelin counter on it. Remove the Javelin counter to have Acacian Javelin here steal one damage to any target. And that one damage just makes it really, really good. And then we have the High Tide, probably my favorite art here by Anson Maddox. So High Tide, until end of turn, all islands produce an additional blue one tap for mana. So it's pretty cool. It's like a mana flare effect, but just for blue and just for one moment, instant. And, oh, Dwarven Soldier, you gotta love this Dwarf. So this is 2-1 for two mana. And if Dwarven Soldier's blocks are his block, by Oryx, it gets plus O plus two until end of turn. Now, I've got a funny story about this Dwarven Soldier. I misread the card and thought it always got the bonus plus O plus two until I started playing with it and realized it didn't. And then of course it was not as great as I thought it was. And boom, we've got a Necrite. Beautiful art by Christopher Rush. Two black and one for a summon thrall, a two, two. If Necrite attacks and is not blocked, you may sacrifice it to bury target creature controlled by the player attack this turn. If you do so, Necrite deals no, uh, damage during the combat. Now the cool thing about this card is it can bury any creature. Think of terror, you cannot bury a black creature or an artifact creature. Think of uh, ashes to ashes, you cannot burn, um, remove any artifact uh, creatures from the game. But Necrite, you can just uh, bury any creature. And remember it's buried so you cannot regenerate. It's not destroyed, it's buried, it's better. Okay, three cards. I think these two last ones are the uncommons. Elven Fortress, yeah, this card. I mean, I don't say quickly, but this card is pretty unplayable. One green for an enchantment, uh, one green and one target blocking creature gets plus O plus one, but you gotta love the art, right? The art is just amazing in Fallen Empires. Okay, and I'm gonna show you this card first because I kind of had a sneak peek. Fungal Bloom. This is actually a really good rare. Uh, two green enchantment, great in Thalid decks. For two green, put a sport counter on target fungus. So this can really help you produce more Thalids. It can be a dangerous card if used in the right way. And then the last one, here we go. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Boom, a Thalid Devourer. You know what? They go together hand in hand. Okay, that's it for, for now, but we will come back with Dan's collection in another video. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. And before I go, just a huge, huge thank you to you, Dan, man. I am I am overwhelmed by this puzzle box and all the memories. It, it really takes me back to my earliest days um, in, in magic. You know, it's just, it's amazing. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor?